Okay, thanks so much, Elizabeth. Last hour, David Romero told us about a silent killer in some homes here in New Mexico. Um, we're not talking about carbon monoxide here. We're talking about radon gas. Uh, yeah, there are ways you can have your home screened to be preventative about this, and David Romero shows us how. Good morning. We are joined once again by Michael Taylor. He is with the Radiation Control Bureau from the state of New Mexico. Now, last hour we spoke about what you need to do to get your home rid of radon if it's in there. Now, if it is in there, you need to be aware of what health effects it may have on you. And Michael's going to talk about that right now. How harmful is this gas to a human? Radon is a known carcinogen. Uh, it is a it is the second leading cause of lung cancer after cigarette smoking. So even if you don't smoke cigarettes, if you have radon in your homes and, or in your offices or any indoor space and you have uh, years of exposure, your risk of lung cancer is increased. So something that uh, everybody needs to take care of right away, and again, as we talked about in the first hour, it's good to make sure that your home is rid of the radon gas and uh, you need to take those precautions as early as you can and also if you detect or if it's, it is detected that the home has radon to get checked out by a doctor, correct? Uh, well, doctors can check and see if you do have the indications, the first beginnings of lung cancer. Um, in terms of fixing your home, homes can be fixed. Homes can actually be built radon resistant. Homes can be built so that radon has less of a chance, less of a likelihood to get into a home. Um, information on all of that can be found on the EPA's website which is epa.gov slash radon. And on that, web, on that page, you can find links to uh, information on regulations in some states. You can also find information, publications for testing, how to test, as well as how to mitigate your home. And again, this is Radon Awareness Month, so it's a good time to make sure that your home and yourself are checked and to make sure that you do not incur any of those health problems that come from radon gas. David Romero, too, CASA this morning. All right, I have to look up the details on that to see like how you can check your house and yeah. see if you have it. Sounds scary. Yeah. It's odorless, tasteless, so uh, definitely something that I'm sure you may not be aware of. Yeah, go to our website, gossip.com, click on the CASA blog for a link to a place where you can find a radon detection kit as well as the Environmental Protection Agency's news on radon.